workplace dispute ends with two people shot early this morning at the Smithfield's food plant in Tar Heel. Yeah, the suspect's family spoke with CBS 17 saying he was scared for his life. He texted and said that this guy's threatening me, saying he's going to kill me. So it's either me or him. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer joins us live from Bladen County. And Kayla, you're digging deeper into what led up to this. Yeah, that's right. I just want to set the scene for you right now. We see a sheriff's deputy's vehicle standing outside, sitting outside near where employees are coming out. It's been anything but a typical day for the couple thousand employees who were here today. So the sheriff's office and the suspect's family telling us the two had ongoing issues and that it all led to the shooting here today. I learned the woman who was shot also uh, was an innocent bystander. The suspect surrendered himself in the woods near this plant without incident, and he is facing two attempted murder charges tonight. He's in jail without bond. So the Bladen County Sheriff says that Jaquante Hakeem Williams shot at least five times hitting Anthony Ratley twice and the woman, Michelle Hernandez, at least once in the abdomen. Both remain in the hospital in stable condition tonight. The suspect's mom and aunt are telling CBS 17 that he was recently pistol whipped by Ratley in a work bathroom. Both claim that Williams reported this to his supervisor and he was trying to get transferred to another department. They spoke with him after the shooting this morning. Take a listen. He didn't really say too much, just told us that he loved us um, and that he, you know, did what he had to do to protect himself. He said, this guy came to me tonight, told me he was going to kill me, so I had, I had to protect myself. That's what he told me. He don't bother nobody. And it was like, enough is enough. He had enough. Yeah, so the call came in as an active shooter call early this morning, just after midnight. There were about 2,000 employees working inside. Some of them were told to shelter in place. Others were evacuated. I'm told security measures are being looked at by the company, and they're not sure how the suspect was able to get a gun inside. No weapons are allowed here. Reporting live in Bladen County, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.